Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars. It's the 12 Apostles run and check this out. This tunnel completed so the enemy uh, vehicle came through here and now they're just sitting at each other like next to each other just shooting at each other. It's crazy. Um, two things. Last video I was kind of confused about a couple of mods that didn't seem to be working. Turns out I never installed them. So I do now have the uh, load balancing mod installed. And you can see that it's definitely working and spreading the load around a bit here. Um, it does apparently take... Oh, god damn it. They really like to kill my vehicles and say, oh, look, it brought it down to zero. No, it just blew up my drone rover done. again. It's rovers, either smoldering piles of... Oh, we won that battle! Or under our total control. Amazing. An attack from Earth. Never thought we'd see the day. Has this caused a rift between our two worlds? Wounds are too fresh to tell how deep they go. Might we have a chance we can walk them off and move forward together? Too early to tell, really. Back on Earth, ESOCorp executives have been arrested and the company has been shut down by many major nations. This will certainly cause economic upheaval, but the ruling parties have deemed it necessary to send a message to all future warlords. Space is neither up for military conquest nor test ground for weapons. Developing space-oriented war machines still remains against the rules, and we will continue to pretend that this was just a fluke. Humanity has shed its need for war with grace. Looking at the smoking battlefield so far from Earth, we can't help but wonder if this is indeed the case. This, however, brings us to our next question. Do we destroy the prototype weapons made from the Martian environment and salvage what resources we can from the rovers, or do we keep the technology in anticipation of another fluke? New technology gain, dream reality. Uh, we can put the one vehicle on display, destroy the rest, or we'd be fools to be caught so defenseless again. Um, I don't feel like we need to keep the vehicles around. We've got the static defenses, I don't know if this is actually the end of the mystery or if there'll be more, but if it's talking about just the vehicles, I don't care about keeping them. So we'll put it on display and destroy the rest. Achievement unlocked whistleblower. I bet you we're done. Complete the Mars Gate mystery. All right, well, I mean, I see why this is considered to be a higher difficulty than some of the others, but it wasn't very long. It wasn't necessarily that hard either. Um, although, well, I say that, it did destroy a lot of stuff that we would have preferred to keep around. It did hammer us pretty hard, but we're past that now. Now all of our problems are, you know, just our own normal ones. <laughs> uh, counter crime, my god, this takes a lot of people uh, to fill in. So we're going to be training some security people. Uh, I do have to check that the university is still properly being staffed, and it is. Okay, fill in these specialties. Did install the mod that really uh, forces specialists to migrate, which is going to be very nice to do. Um, and in fact, that'll probably mean we really don't need the, um, the specialization filter um, anymore, because this should more or less happen automatically. Uh, which is gonna be nice. We've got some starving colonists again. Is it over here again? Of course it is. We did set up the second farm though. Um, I think I will run the wheat for now because it is quite fast. I'll run wheat and then two cycles of soybean and try to do that. Water shortage is still a thing. We're still waiting um, right over here. Oh no, we do have these built, but we can upgrade them. Let's upgrade all of our uh, moisture evaporators with hydroscopic coating, 50% more because our base production is one water. Although this one is saying 0.6 for some reason. <gasps> Fudge! I forgot that they have overlapping areas. Hold on. Uh, I don't want maintenance. I want salvage. I forgot they have overlapping areas. Oh no. Oh no. Arg. Because I don't usually build them. But yeah, if they overlap, then they get less production. Okay. And I think I, I've been clustering them because, you know, it's just very convenient to do that kind of thing. Uh, I don't care about the deposit. Okay, we'll get you. Uh, we're probably looking okay now. Um, let's do you and then get a pipe that goes that way. All right, it'll be okay. Uh, we do have some power problems at night. So more wind turbines are probably a go. Now we are currently researching what? Oh, deep water extraction, which will also be nice. Then nuclear fusion. It's gonna take us a while to get the nuclear fusion. So I think I will in fact go and build some more wind turbines. Uh, boom, 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 and boom. Okay. You are refueling. How are we on rare metals? Oh yeah, we only have eight over here. I think because this spent a fair amount of time shut down through various things. Um, do we have unemployment over here? A little bit. I'm gonna open a second shift. Thump. Although at some point we'll just want more rare metals mines. I mean, we have deep deposits all over the place now. We're not necessarily positioned to exploit them, but they exist. 
So, yeah, I will go and just blow you up. I'm gonna leave two of these overlapping. So at least without the third, it's not quite as bad. I don't know, maybe it actually doesn't make a difference how much is overlapping. Oh, right, so we finally are over here. Of course, we don't have a, a thingy, um, a thingy. We don't have a uh, rover to explore this. We also don't have a rover that can help us build the other side of this. We're gonna wait for a little bit more money to accrue um, and then send a rocket once it goes back home as well. Um, but yeah, the idea will be oh, um, to find some sort of path through here. Hello. Okay. Wait. We have a food shortage. Okay. It's a hockey C. Can we get through here? Maybe through here? Yeah, I mean, we could just build another tunnel. And we might. But there we go. Whew. Uh, so let's go into... No, not that. Salvage. Thank you for the autosave. Boom. Boom. Get rid of that little quet, although... There we go. And that. Food shortage... We don't really... I mean, we've got... Food in storage is going up a little bit. And now we're going to have that. It's going to be fine. It's just, you know, we have a lot of people here. And using the shuttles to move the food around is kind of annoying. Okay, our global load is flying down to low, which is nice. The shuttle's ready to go, so we will certainly send you. We've got a nice distribution. We still have a heavy load over here, even with 16 freaking drones. Yeah, we might just continue sending a lot of drones. Um, what I'll probably do is send, like, the three rovers again. I don't know if we'll need a transport, although um, there was, like... Uh, when I was waiting for some stuff to be fixed down here, I was like, oh, it'd be really nice to be able to manually move some electronics from up here to down there. So getting a transport rover back might not be a terrible idea. Plus, there's probably still more resources waiting around. I will go back to trying to build this up over here. We'll get that and we'll start expanding drone hubs because materially we're okay. Other than polymers, which is a little bit low still, but they are being produced, so that's okay. We've got the factory AI, which is nice. We'll probably get some more things. So yeah, we get the overlapping water over here, but water production is 1.5, which isn't bad. Here's the one. We're going to go ahead and use some more polymers to upgrade all of you, and then we'll actually no longer have a water shortage. Um, looks like some of them haven't been built yet. Yeah. But I think spending the polymers to upgrade them, the ones that we have, is still worthwhile. We'll probably do some more later on. Metal extractor. How much metal do you actually have left over here? Some. Looks like we could clean up our mess a little bit here by getting a uh, dumping site or two. We have a food shortage. Uh, rock liquefaction will be nice at some point, too. You've got a sterling generator. Oh, speaking of sterling generators, did we get built here? Not all, but soon. Open you up as well. We'll still need excess power during the next cold snap, but between the extra wind turbines and those sterling generators, it'll probably be okay. There is a breakthrough we can get to convert excess power to research, right? We've we've got that in this game. We, don't, we haven't unlocked it yet. This one right here, superconducting computing. Um, I think once we get the fusion generator, that'll be nice. Another anomaly was found. That's got to be a rock falling from the sky. Excellent. And yeah, there's a few still left to, to find. Getting an explorer will be nice. I mean, very soon it's going to spend most of its time idle. Um, although these are breakthrough ones. Yeah, we definitely need to pop these. That's very valuable. Okay, so over here, salvage that line, because obviously it's not going to do anything. Um, we will get a universal depot over here. And we will see if we can stick in somehow a drone hub. There we go. That'll work. And I don't think that'll block the path, which will be okay. So we'll get that area built up. Although, in a sense, hold on. In a sense, what would actually be better is to build a drone hub. It's got to cover this area for maintenance. But what if we did just this? That easily covers this whole area. And more so. Because otherwise, like, half the, the range of this would be kind of wasted. I don't know if it actually has to be universal over here. But I'm being lazy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
Obviously, until we get our rover, none of this is going to get built, but that's going to be the idea. Um, just to facilitate a little bit, you know what will actually help up here? Just because there might be some amount of time before everything gets connected up. If we actually did go and build a, uh, a little bit of a power hub up here, because obviously it's going to be elevated. You can actually check the, uh, the numbers here. Oh, it's actually only 39%, really? Oh, this is quite a bit higher, okay. Still, I'll build a couple of those locally, deal with broken cables and short term, um, because our RC rover might not cover everything properly, but we can get the drone hub running, and then this will power the drone hub, and then the drone hub will finish everything else, and that's gonna be swell. Oh, I thought that was metal. Keep trying to click. Okay, I don't know how much cash we got. Can we send a rover? No. We can send a rover, but that's it. These are fairly expensive. Yeah, we need a lot of cash. We might have to run one, um, not patents, but the other one. Is it just like intellectual property or copyrights or something like that? Just for money injection. We do have some celebrities, so that's why we're getting any money right now, because we're certainly not sending rare metals back. And I don't think that's likely to change. Our rare metals production is not that terribly high. Yeah, water is good now. We did build some extra vaporators. Um... I'm not gonna go and upgrade the new ones yet, although fairly soon we will probably do that as we look to expand. Almost certainly look to build a dome up there. Although again, here's pretty good too. And here we can expand without the little drone rovers because we can build drone hubs. Um, and I'm gonna want to get them so they overlap each other. So for example, if I do that, that'll get built. And then this one here means we can get another one, say right over here. And we can um, have, like universal storage depots here that will get shared. So that some goods will get passed around. There we go. Yeah. And we'll get built over here, which is going to be good. So some resources, no water, but more metal. Not that we're hurting on metal, although eventually the metal mine will go away. And mostly we just need a lot more housing. A second um, Martian University might be really nice. We still have plenty of um, unspecialized people that can get swapped out. Um, certainly we're going to want to build a little bit more research. Uh, the Hawkins University would be really nice. Um, it is in the queue. I'm still kind of okay with this overall. So yeah, I guess you could keep the vehicles as maybe a less power costing way of defending against meteors, but we don't have a meteor problem, so I'm not too stressed. I suppose I might want to send the RC rover first, like we could send more than one rocket. Obviously it'll, you know, use more fuel to keep refueling it. We don't actually, we're not sitting at infinite fuel right now, so maybe we will hold off. Yeah. And we can't really increase our fuel production too much because it is hardening our water. Although, okay, I got two fuels over here and I'd like to have one per shuttle hub. There's also a polymer factory here. And down here we have one fuel thing for the shuttle hub. And there's a polymer factory. I mean, we've, we've got it. We really could use one more fuel product producer. Now this doesn't actually have to be worked by people. So let's go ahead, get another fuel refinery. And there's a little, there's the transport over there. Oh, we can actually just stick it in right like this. I think that'll be handy because there's the fuel depot over here and there's fuel consumers nearby. So get more fuel being produced. So that's basically one each for each polymer and shuttle hub. And then there'll be excess of course, but that will be used for our rocket. Of course, we only have the one. If we start producing more rare um, rare metals, then what's nice about that is we can sell it and then start outsourcing things. And we do have a big thing here. What is this? Is this it here? Deep metal extraction. We're I mean, working on the deep water extraction, which is gonna be really, really nice. But yeah, I think we'll queue up the metal after the Hawking's Institute, I would say. Got buildings not working. What's your deal? You're frozen. Oh, that's annoying. The subsurface heater broke down and then froze. <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. And it was mostly due to, like, not having the drones. We're a lot better off now. Drone lo load NA? Why do we have an NA? Discharged? Maintenance workers discharged. Oh, you don't have power? 
Where's the little arrows to show me the drones that belong to this thing? I'm very confused. I don't know. Oh, is it like here? This unit's been destroyed. Really? Hold on, how am I gonna find all these stupid things? Oh! That one's destroyed. These are out of juice. Where the hell were you going? Is there some sort of weird pathing because of this? There, okay, and there was stuff over here. Um, what I'll probably wait until I and got an RC rover and then I'll send them over here. Yeah, you're collecting things. We do have the water to put. It's very low. It lasts forever. Deep water extraction just kicked in. Yeah, that's why it's lit. I mean, I could build a lot of water extractors around here. I, that might actually be worthwhile, you know? None of them are going to be particularly efficient in terms of, like, you know, power to whatever ratio. But. That might be okay. Get you set up this way, and yeah, we'll go ahead and build our drone hubs. Like that, and again, we'll take the lazy route, build a universal depot here in the overlapping area between the things, so things will get built, and just keep doing that. And then these ones that are out of charge will get charged up by other friendly drones, I believe. We'll have more drones in there. So, deep water extraction Electrostatic done. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Electrostatic dust storm is worse than a regular dust storm because it has lightning bolts that will break buildings. You're expanding out here. Let me get back to the rest of you in a bit. We do still want to expand out here because it's going to be a great place for a new hub since we do still have terrible amounts of um, homelessness. We'll wait on it a little bit longer. Boom, 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 boom. We can build some other water collectors. We're at zero right now. I suspect, I think, do we still have a water mine? Or are we literally at zero? We actually might literally be at zero. Because we did build the extra um, water pump and everything. So uh, we've got at least, I think, two of these that hadn't been upgraded yet. I think there was this one and the second one over there hadn't been upgraded yet. So we'll do that. Still got on polymers. In fact, everything's going up now. Like, with the mystery completed, like, I think we have really hit full, um, like, subsistence here. So they're doing that. But yeah, these things here. Too bad I can't control click to fix all the, all the completely broken drones. Or not fix, but like, salvage all the completely broken drones. That would be nice. Okay, let's get one more drone hub. We have a food shortage. I know, food shortages. Uh, I mean, technically this reaches, but I think I will want one over here. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get another Universal Depot over here. And then the idea is... Uh, rotate. Like that. Like that. We can build you a little further away. And that. I don't actually have to cover all the pipe areas, but this way I, I know for sure that everything is, is done. And then we just have to worry about power. Oops, wrong button. And then I also know that if my power line just follows this, we are going to end up adjacent to everything. Because there's no little symbol for, like, where you need to actually build the power line to connect to. So we're going to do that. Uh, you will need a ton of dumping sites. Here. I'm just going to be lazy on the clicking here. Because you're going to generate a ton of waste rock. Um, that'll all be in range once this finishes. So that's going to be okay. The storm coming soon. Turn off the solar panels for that, but I don't think I'll bother. Now that we oh, have more drones... Ah, where did you die from? Low health. Do I not have a medical center? I do have a medical center. But no one's working there? I have too many work slots and not enough people here? 
Well, people are moving back and forth. That might be part of it. But I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to blow up both these regular apartments, or living quarters. I know that's going to lower the overall comfort over here, but we don't really need more babies. And I'm going to replace these with apartment buildings. Come on. Blow them up. Blow them up. There's always a timer in case you need to change your mind. Boom, boom. Excellent. Okay. You're being built up now. Complaining about power? Wait, are you? How? How are you not connected to a power producer? You are. Um, this to me looks like a continuous power cable. Guys, we may have to like save and reload here. This is a good enough place to put in a cut. I think I might have to save and reload. And or build some new cables, because clearly this looks connected to me, doesn't it? Yeah. Although we have the electrostatic dust storm. I don't see how that's doing anything here, though. Alright, we're going to put a cut in here. And hopefully, after a reload, this will be fixed. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.